Is your mortgage company is calling you lately and saying, hey, it's a good time to refinance and let's go ahead and do it. Interest rates now are about, let's just call them, I think they're 7.32. Let's just call them 7 0.5% as the feds are going to probably continue to increase the interest rates. We're probably looking at 10% in the near future. I hope I'm wrong. Well, is it a good time if you have $10,000 credit cards and less? A lot of people in the last year and a half through the pandemic have been living off credit cards and credit cards and having trouble getting work or the work they have as we are in. I'm going to call it recession. I'm going to jump into that and I'm also going to explain uh, what a HELOX is. All right, uh, stay tuned. What is a HELOX? Well, I'm going to explain that and is it a, should you do it or not do it? It all depends where you're at, but I'm going to explain a couple things where you might not want to refinance unless. What's that unless? Hello, everybody. I'm Sal Capano. Now, uh, if you're liking these videos, you can do me a big favor as it helps uh, the YouTube algorithm and all YouTube channels should do this. If you like the video or not like the video, hopefully you like my video, subscribe to the channel and tune into future videos like this as um, we're just talking a whole lot of what's happening with the economy. Okay, here's a go. So homeowners are using a HELOX and it's uh, what it is, it's like, it's like pretty much like a finance safety net. You pretty much like your... You're, it's a big credit card, but backed up from your house, okay? So, if you can get an interest rate, let's just call it at 7.5, where most credit cards are about between 16.27 up to 24%, because it's the inflation recession is bringing them up. Well, I might as well refinance, but well, it all depends. Let's say, for an example, you have about $10,000 on credit cards. It's right on the bubble, right? Um, and you have about 10 years left in your mortgage. Let's just say 10 to 15 years left in your mortgage. Call it under 15. In my opinion, unless you need to move and everybody's situations are different and, and you're just living beyond your needs, well, then maybe. But I would say no. No, 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 no. Don't refinance. There's closing costs. There's all kinds of hitting fees that the broker is going to get. Yes, they will. So you have to adjust those. Yes, it sounds good. Improve your house. And yes, a lot of people are trying to improve their house because they feel like it's a good time to sell. Well, remember one thing, 10% are coming. A lot of people are going to offer you money what the house is worth next year because they probably will be at 10%. No, no way. This guy's crazy. Let me remind everybody, we were at 10% in the 80s and 90s and probably on an average interest rate to around 6 7%. We just hit a low time. It has to do a lot of different things. Now, uh, okay, so let me jump into it. And I believe after the 10%, in my opinion, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's going to go up and then we'll finally work ourselves out of this and go down. We'll probably flatten out maybe around five, six percent again. So if you can hold on, I would say hold on. Now, if you just bought a home a few years ago, if you have a big mortgage, say 26 years left, 25 years left, then you might want to consider that and paying off those credit cards. Now, if you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, say $20,000 credit card debts, not counting your car payments, then something you might want to consider on doing. But if you're what I just said, 10,000 or 15 years left in your mortgage and you're sitting at a 5% interest rate or 4% interest rate or a 3% interest rate, absolutely not. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Uh, yes, it'll be extra money in your hand. Uh, to pay off these credit cards, what you could do is stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what you can do to avoid bankrupt because I think going into bankrupt is the worst thing you can possibly do. Well, it's easy for you to say, Mr. YouTube channel. I'm in a bad situation, but just stay tuned. Oh boy, a lot to cover on this. And thank you so much. I greatly appreciate I'm just a small little YouTube channel. Um, and, and again, if we had 75 likes in this, I'm going to give out some Puerto Rican coffee behind me and maybe two lucky winners and give out a little cash to two winners who hit 75 likes in this video. So comment so I know who you are and let me know where you're from. People are using homes right now to improve improvements and that's good, cashing out and then paying off their credit cards and refinance. Now, if you're in an adjustable rate right now and the adjustable rate just hit and you're popped up at 9%, something to consider. But if you're in a fixed rate, 5%, 4%, 3%, or even lower, then I would say no, um, not to do it. Um, so what what this is is this Helox is is it's like a safety net. So again, it's like you're covered from your home, but that 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 also can go up that interest rate. So you got to be careful. You need to get these stuff when you ask these guys when they're calling your house. You want to refinance them because I know I got a call just a call today is why I'm doing this video and I asked him a couple questions and uh, he he was nice enough to answer. Uh, refinance cash out and pay off all credit cards absolutely not don't do it um not right now um when the interest rates were low and oh i missed out on it yes and when your interest rate when your house was at three percent four percent and you have good value maybe maybe you had about eight years left and you want to go to a 15 year mortgage does that make sense then yes but right now again interest rates are going to continue to rise adjustable rate might be different um, if you just got into a mortgage at three, four years in, consider maybe possibly if you want to take something out. Um, 
you know, call, here's what you do. So here's what you do. Um, you close your credit cards, leave one or two open for, to keep your credit score up. You close up your credit cards, you call them up, but before you close them out, you negotiate with them. So if you have a 24% interest rate on a credit card right now, let's just say capital one, I've done, you call them up, you say, Hey, I negotiate. I have a $2,000 balance. I like to, um, uh, can we negotiate that 24% and, uh, perhaps and you, they don't have to close it out to say you cannot use it for a year. Sometimes they have promotions for six months to a year. We'll bring your payment from $120 a month down to $50 a month, but you cannot use your credit card until you reach a balance. You knock off half of the credit card. That makes sense. Some you might have to close out, unfortunately, and just pay them off. Try to pay them off. Oh, easy for you to say. Look, we, we got to continue the work. We got to continue to, this is the only way out of this mess that we're in. So call your credit cards. And pay a lower minimum wage. You can do it. Uh, I, I know a lot of credit cards are doing it. You call them up and ask them, can we cut the balance down? Keep the credit cards down. It might be six months or a year till you get on your two feet. Let's not destroy because right now it is hitting right now, people. I'm always optimistic. I'm a personal trainer. Stay motivated. And like I said, it's probably going to hit 10%. I think we'll go down. Hang in there. Sometimes we have to work a second job, especially if you're a young person out there. Just you know, work your butt off. Let's grab out of this thing. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. People um, are living off their credit cards for the past year and a half since the pandemic. And now it's actually hit the fan, right? Everything's just kind of hit that fan. Everybody's panicking. They're either going bankrupt or they're looking for other solutions. If you're renting out there right now, you're going to buy a house. I would hold still right now and just continue the rent. I know a lot of places like here in Nevada and Las Vegas, there's no cap on rent. I'm hearing good things. They're going to try to settle that in a little bit too. So um, that's my update for you on this Friday. I hope you're having a great Friday. Please, people, try to avoid bankrupt as much as you can and do not Absolutely do not do the cash out and absolutely not if you do cash out and go ahead and buy a new car. No, absolutely not. Everybody's situation is different. Again, 10 years are left on the mortgage or 15 years less than the mortgage. Do not refinance at 7%, particularly if you're at 5% right now. It does not make sense. It does not make sense to do. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget, share this video. Share it to your Uncle Joey. Share it to your mother and your parents. Share it to anybody else. I greatly appreciate you tuning in on this Friday. I had to come on because I'm getting these calls from the mortgage companies and I find out a lot of people are. Remember, when you're walking by somebody, say hello to somebody. Tomorrow's another day, and there's always a solution on this video. Whew, we got it in under eight minutes. Good luck, everybody.